Half an hour, welcome back to the channel. My name is Natooks, and this is Football Fan Tribe. Another one here again. And uh, I don't know whether I could just copy and paste this the way they always talk, but as you can see from the thumbnail, and okay, they set your own hair too. <laughs> We're gonna leave this out for this video. <laughs> We're gonna leave out. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see from the thumbnail and the video title, of course, and the description, we are here to talk about my favorite African midfielder at the moment. But before we get into that one, of course, uh, this video is sponsored by Pari Pesa. So I beg you, take advantage, enjoy that 140k, up to 140k, we wait for you as bonus on top of your first deposit where you register on their website or via the app with our promo code fan stripe uh, so um i don't know some people will be the mistake sophia and amrabat for a uh, elder brother way they older way they more popular with the amrabat name before he may come come up of course the elder brother be you know an nah, attacking player we don't play for europe a lot of places in waka where we're very skillful and um now we are talking about um the amrabat in question sophia and amrabat solid midfielder so you get one thing what happened during the walk away me i know go personally ever forget because i remember when morocco be play france uh, that semi-final with them come out when pursuing bappy from the halfway line to morocco they are 18. slide morocco whether you win go kick for that sliding and for anybody on planet earth first of all to go toe to toe with mbappe no be beans but then the intelligence to time that tackle very well mbappe feel him. Like he pay now where where because he chopping leg, but he win the ball. Now why he no be be against them? And before then, I be done the talk and say this guy not the best midfielder for the tournament as he hold. No be just I no be African something. You get so now. Um, I, I I love him as a player. In there very good with the ball, good without the ball, obviously too, and very intelligent. In the twenty six years now, and um, I don't know what do you make of the uh, the move if at all it go happen or um, not. Uh, first place, first time, I think it will happen. Mm. I think it will happen. Yeah. And but secondly, I think. Uh, secondly, I think. The job of a midfielder. Yeah. The role I'm about to play. It needs more of energy. Of course. People who, people who thrive there are very energetic people. Hmm. You might be Man, but you need to be. <laughs> you need to be. You need. See, see, Bush can thrive because of the club he played and what they play, and his intelligence level too. If, fine, mm. even as at that level of his intelligence, yeah. if it comes to Premier League or Italian League, energy will worry. be a problem. Mm. What Barcelona play? Is a game plan that allows everybody at your little strength to thrive. Look at yeah. Liverpool. All the time they they patronize the English, the community chance of a thing at the midfield. It couldn't work out hundred percent until some foreigners came in with energy. Yeah. If you look at what Ngolo Kante did at Chelsea, at his prime, mm -hmm. he's intelligent, fine. But look at the energy. Of course. Look at Arsenal. Look at Thomas Partey. You 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 get. It. So yeah. if the heck is going for Amrabat, and and for who cares to know the name Arabant, Arab Amrabat is a very familiar name in football. Oh, so God. if you are mistaking him for his elder brother, nobody should blame you. It's a mm -hmm. it's a household name. So long mm -hmm. as football is concerned, uh, yeah. and the, the fact is that this is the younger brother of the old Arabat who know. Mm -hmm. But this is a guy. He might not give you goals. He might not give you assists. Mm -hmm. But he is there to do what Moïse Cassiedo do. Exactly. He checks you down. Mm -hmm. He makes sure that the opponents at the, in the midfield are not comfortable. Mm -hmm. And he do this clinically. Clinically. Mm. Yeah. No record of cards. And that is what you need. Because if Amrabat come to Manchester United, play two, three games, 
Then you bank on him, you believe in him. Then the next game, red card, three games. It's a problem. Of course. That was what happened to us in the case of Casimiro. Mm. Coming from French, from, from La Liga to, to Premier League, one or two teams, some harsh decisions, United paid. Because as at the time we relied heavily on him, we missed him. Yeah. But imagine having a striker like Karen Benzema, mm -hmm. who plays season in season at no red card. Mm -hmm. Imagine a midfielder like Tony Cruz. Mm -hmm. All his life, people are searching for his red card. Mm -hmm. These are qualities you need from footballers who give their best and ask you to trust them. Yeah. If they can, if they cannot go on a long term injury, no red card, you have them all for yourself. Exactly. That is a but, secret behind that is a secret behind Brighton and their and their fine season. Exactly. Ma I paint this picture for the you. In Brighton. Hello? Uh, just just go on with the Brighton then they get one picture one I'll paint for you quickly. So, so that is the key. That is the reason behind Brighton's best season as a football club. Mm -hmm. Virtually every single important player in that team was almost there for them to the end of the season. Exactly, man. Unlike Manchester United, unlike mm -hmm. Manchester United we had Rashford um, injury. We had Casemiro co uh, controversial red cards. Yeah. Then we had Eriksen injury. Everything complicated our season. So I think the heck going for Arabat is because of the fitness and his intellect when it comes to managing the midfield. And he's not going to be under pressure because he's, I don't think he's going to the heck in the contractor in the contractor negotiation, I don't think he's going to get an outright starting lineup agreement. Yeah. So it's, it's a fantastic addition to Manchester United. Interesting. Now let, let me let me paint that picture one will be paid for you before. Mind you, they go away. After struggling during the week, Champions League, with, um, let's say, a hard, tight game, you know. Very, very tough match with uh, PSG for Champions League on, on a Wednesday. And then, you they go Etihad on Saturday. But then, you they look, you they look, you they look at uh, getting a possible starting lineup with the midfield of Casemiro, Amrabat and Bruno. You go shake at all. If I have the three. Yes. I won't shake. Mm -hmm. You gonna tell them bring the city, no be my city, made a call. <laughs> now I tell you now. <laughs> see, 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 see. <laughs> guy, what do you just talk now? Now, what if people like even Arsenal missed last season? I swear, guy. I swear. That that consistency. Mm -hmm. For you to do well in a season, you need a little bit of luck. You need to stay out of injury. And you need consistency. When it's come to playing, if you play Diamond 3, you always need that Diamond, Diamond 3. Die your bush quit in Esther and Javi. Yeah. You always need it. That your Casemiro Cruz, Luka Modric. You always need it. Mm -hmm. Because if one is out, you bring somebody from the bench, the rhyme will no longer be there. Sharp. So, for, for example, just like what you said, a, a Casemiro, you have a Casemiro, you have an Arabat, then you have a Bruno. Hmm. The job is specified. The job I is quite defined. I did tell you. It's simply defined. Iron jam, iron. That is po, my po, po. problem. Hmm. That's that's my problem. That's hmm. my problem with the because in, in our day, like say, some people now don't carry plenty money, go cook rice, and party <laughs> after party may not happen again. <laughs> anyway, they love combo. <laughs> you, you cannot, you can't, you, you can't go into a party. You use hundred and five million to cook rice. No canopy, no DJ. Where is the party? <laughs> I, I, mean, I, advise, I, I don't advise them. I, I advise them, though I pray they fail. 
But I'm advising them that if this your party must go on well, there will always be party and rise mm, mm. for stability and consistency sake. Exactly. The two guys. These are blend. two big these are two big these are two big mifidas. What this one don't give, this one give. Exactly. So you can't sacrifice one for one. Mm -hmm. If 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 we have a Casimiro, then we have a Rixin. Then Arabat comes in with a consistent Bruno Fernandez. There is no game who miss the three. Exactly. That is stability. Mm -hmm. That is stability. The only thing Premier League clubs are trying to do from now till Mpep goes is to try and challenge City. Yeah. That is it. Everybody now is now looking up to the perfect man. Every single business you see going on in Premier League now is all about trying to meet up with the pace of the perfect man. And you cannot do that. You go buy pepper, you say rice. <laughs> because you have Casimir, you say Arabat can go. No. And another thing too, he yes. don't work with Ten Hag yes. before. Yes. I need to make it happen. Mm. Because some people get a razor for their midfield. Mm. Some get rice. Me, I need the rat to chase them. <laughs> so anyways, the hack don't always go for players we don't work with and they somehow somehow they click easy like that. Him and um uh, Amrabat they be there together for Utrecht once upon a time when the hack uh, be still they come up. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. The relationship is already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if, uh, when it comes together, or if it comes together, we can also explore that matter to uh, look into our see as be chuk eye for the matter basically. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think for the comment section if the Amrabat deal uh, makes sense or if you say maybe in day two because I mean they hear some people talk say maybe in day two similar to Casimero. Maybe if you might if you find somebody of a different mode or something, let me know what you think for the comment section as well. My name is Natok. So I did this with Henry. And uh, we go see for front. Thanks. January 2022 on Aduam, the community come together say on a must go half country to the one where they happen for Cameroon. And we went down there. <laughs> From the beginning, now this community now don't push this platform to where it is. And uh, now time don't reach again. The Super Eagles don't qualify for the 2023 AFCON happening in January 2024 for Ivory Coast. So time don't reach. We they call for our support. We're going to help us, push us further, make as many of us go Ivory Coast, go watch the Super Eagles, cheer them on. And the fundraiser is officially begun. So we don't officially launch the fundraiser for our AFCON 2023 trip. Of course, the AFCON they start January 2024, like I've been talking before. And in the description, a PayPal link where if you make international payments to and the Nigerian bank account as well for the comment section and for the description of this video, where if you support us with anything, nothing is too small, nothing is too big. We will make this journey together, make some incredible content, record some great memories, and of course, share the Super Eagles as we go win the AFCON. 10 years from the last time we will win now. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you should post like and all our social media links are big. Follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.